So in this session, we are going to discuss the second method of approximating solution to nonlinear equation, f of x equals to zero, the so-called the regular false sign method or method of false position. So uh, we are going to briefly discuss uh, the <coughs> derivation of the formula. And then thereafter in the next session, we'll do an example to illustrate how the method works. So consider the function of the equation. f of x equals to zero and let x l and x r the two values of x such that f of xl times f of xr is negative, i.e. the value of the function at xl and xr are, the value of the function at xl and xr have opposite signs. Let's also, x, L be less than X R. So then the graph of F of X cuts the x-axis at least at one point. But let the graph of f of x be as shown below. So this let this be the x axis is the y axis. And then let's have Let this be the graph of y equals to f of x. So let's have this. So this is what I'm calling x l. This is what I'm calling XR. So this accord, let's call this point A, let's just call this point B. So the coordinates of point A are XL, 
comma f of xl while coordinates of b are xr comma f of xr now obviously f of xr you can see from this graph is positive and f of xl is negative because it's the value is below the x-axis now the equation of the code AB joining of the of the code AB is Y minus f of xl divided by x minus xl equals to f of xr minus f of xl divided by xr minus xl this should not be strange we are simply uh, we remember that equation of a straight line is given by y equals to mx plus c so m is a gradient so remember gradient of this line is the same as f of xr minus f of xl divided by so this is change in y change in x will be given by xr minus xl and then once you have this general point uh, y and then this general point x and then c is where the, we have the y intercept so so remember this this can as well be uh, we know that the equation of a line through the point x not f of x not is just in general is given by y minus f of x naught equals to m into x minus x naught. So this can as well be written as y minus f of x naught divided by x minus x naught equals to m, where m is a gradient. And so if we had another point, a point x naught and f of x naught, and we have x1 f of x1 then you know that the, if this one point a this another point b gradient will be given by f of x1 minus f of x naught divided by x1 minus x naught so this explains why we have this equation here so with this equation Now, in the small interval, so let's call this one equation one. In the small interval, XL comma XR, the graph of the function f of x can be considered as a straight line. Can be considered as a straight line. So the x coordinate Of the point of 
of the code joining. A and B, the points A and B, with the, the x-axis. will give approximate value of the root. So this is what you mean. You see this is a point XL and it is a point XR. So now we are saying that in a small interval of X, L and X, R, then the graph Y equals of X can be assumed to be a straight line. So around this point, if you move X, L to this point, and then X, R, move it to this point. So we can approximate the, this graph by simply a straight line. So that now the graph y equals to f of x and the code ab will actually be meeting the x-axis at the same point. And so the value of the intersection of the graph in that small interval uh, with the x-axis give the approximate value of the root. And you see uh, all the values of y on the x-axis are always zero. So therefore, I remember this is the point zero. Therefore, in this equation one, so hence putting y equals to zero in one, we get, so I have assumed that now the equation of the curve y equals to f of x is the same as the equation of the code. So therefore, this way we are replacing y for zero because the value of y on the x-axis is zero. So we'll have zero minus f of xl divided by x minus xl equals to f of xr minus f of xl divided by xr minus xl. So now let's solve for X in this equation. Remember the X is the unknown, which we need to solve. So this will have uh, minus F of XL. Now I multiply by XR minus XL. So I'm cross multiplying equals to X minus XL multiplied by F of XR minus F of XL. So then multiplying or open the brackets, we have XR minus XR F of XL plus XL f of x add, f of x l, I'm multiplying this by this, equals to x times all this bracket, so I don't have to open. And then minus x l times f of x add, minus minus is plus, XL times F of XL. Now you see this term, uh, this term and this term cancels out. So we'll have uh, X into F of XR minus F of XL equals to, take this to the right, uh, to the opposite side will be now XL 
f of xr, I've taken this to the opposite side, and then minus xr f of xl. So making x the subject, you divide through by this bracket, f of xr minus f of xl, f of xr minus f of xl. So therefore now the two brackets cancel out, this bracket and this bracket cancel out, and we have x value for the approximate root will be given by x equals to xl f of xr minus xr f of xl divided by f of xr minus f of xl. So this is the formula that we use to approximate the root of the equation f of x equals to zero by method of false position. So then the procedure is repeated. So now we apply this formula, let me call it star. So this star, star is a formula, the regular false side method formula that is applied repeatedly up to the required level of accuracy. So the next session now we do an example to illustrate how the method works. Thank you.